Chemicals found in many plastic products you may have in your home are linked to heart disease deaths around the world, according to a new study. In today's Health Minute, Mandy Gaither looks at the research and has ways you can limit your family's exposure to these chemicals. They're often called everywhere chemicals because they're so common. Phthalates are added to products like plastic food containers, vinyl flooring, shampoo, makeup, even children's toys. Itself is a colorless, odorless liquid that does not evaporate. Okay, so just imagine that. That's what phthalates are. That's why they're called the forever chemicals. Dr. Sanjay Gupta says these chemicals make products more durable and flexible, but a new global study found they may also have contributed to more than 10% of all global mortality from heart disease in 2018 among men and women ages 55 through 64. 350,000 deaths linked to this chemical which I just find extraordinary because, again, we spend our whole lives eating right, exercising, doing all these things. These chemicals, uh, for a lot of people, they just have tremendous exposure to them. Gupta says there are ways to limit exposure to these chemicals, avoid eating out of plastics, and microwaving or warming plastics in appliances like a dishwasher. He says that can release more of these chemicals. Instead, opt for glass or stainless steel food storage containers. Also, avoid products with these chemicals, like things that have added fragrances and nonstick pots and pans. And if you do use plastics, pay attention to the type you're buying. There's different types of plastics. You want to avoid three, six, and seven specifically. Those are the plastics that have the most phthalates in them. For Health Minute, I'm Mandy Gaither. In earlier studies, phthalates have been also been linked to reproductive problems such as genital malformations and undescended testes in baby boys and lower sperm counts and testosterone levels in adult males. Studies have also linked these chemicals to asthma, childhood obesity, and cancer.